So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. His throw incomplete. He was looking for the connection with Devin Funches. And now it's third down. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Play action. It's Newton. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Newton. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Chandler Jones with a big-time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. Here's Michael Pilardi now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And take it right at the 35. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cards will take over first and 10. carry now this is Johnson and he got blown up losing yardage on the play back at the 44 that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down and the offense there the O-line everybody really on offense they were just manhandled at the point of attack yeah, you could pretty much call them all out couldn't you <laughs> almost by name right that was a very tough sequence for the offensive line but how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility they go play action. Gabbard. They'll roll him out right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Well, he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Gabbard. He's going to fire one deep over. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. It's the safety, Kirk Coleman. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And this ball's intercepted, but it is third down. So the silver lining is that since this is so far down the field and there wasn't a big run back associated with it, really this kind of works like a punt. It's not an altogether bad result. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get two, maybe three, up near the 37. 
We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. They fake the give. Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. As my dad used to tell me all the time, when you're going ready to play a big-time game, especially when you have one going into a dome setting, better strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. So out now come the Cardinals. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So here we go. First and 10 now. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. six-yard line Mario Addison he's the one that got to him he takes him down for a loss of nine Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. Able to push his way through, and he'll get it up here this time to the 21. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. This offense really put themselves in a tough spot on first and second down and needing long yardage to try and pick up a first down. And they ended up getting a great run. Explosive, picked up nice yardage. You don't expect to be in this situation on fourth down. But guess what? It all started with what happened on first and second down. Really put them behind the eight ball. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall at the 19. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. On first down, it's Newton. Flush to his right. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, he'd always say, foul it away, lad. Foul it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depended on what he was feeling at the okay. moment. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? Can you heard laddie? He's usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. 
second and one and people want to run the football, this is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Now the defense definitely showing blitz here. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. McCaffrey on the counter. Oh, he's got a little daylight. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. On second down, they run with Stewart. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. An extra DB added here for the cards on third. Blitzer play coverage. A handoff left, McCaffrey. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. to throw got his man complete over the middle that's Nicholson and he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30 yard line and I don't know what the method is to know when to dial up a fake punt when not to whatever the method there it worked for I think you actually did explain it there is no method <laughs> it's just a feel a sense and a healthy dose of guts in order to call that play in that situation. Element of surprise, I guess, right? Yeah, element of surprise and just a strong belief that, hey, we're going to get it done. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. So they get half of what they needed. It'll be third and six upcoming. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The Panthers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six.
They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It's a five-yard pickup, but spotted a few chain links short of the first, so a little bit of decision time here coming up on fourth down. So now off goes Newton, and on comes the kicker, Graham Gano. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3 0 lead. So they get three. They were hoping for six. An unlucky number 13 play drive. Well, you go to the sideline after putting three points on the board. Happy, but you wanted to be ecstatic. You wanted to have six on the board. On the opposite sideline, though, the defense, I think they're high fiving each other, only giving up three after letting them run that much offense. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, OK, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big time play and break through the barrier. They begin the drive with Johnson. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. They go to Johnson again, and yeah, not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. But not a huge game there as we head towards the two-minute warning. It'll be interesting to me to see what they decide to do after the timeout. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We'll be back with more in the NFC title bout after this. Off the play fake, Gabbard. Dumping it off for Johnson. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. The first down carry here for Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game. The effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. On play action, Gabbard rolling to his right. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. To throw, Gabber. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. 
And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we've reached halftime here in the NFC Championship as we send you on down to our studios in Orlando, where standing by is Larry Ridley with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And they start the second half with Johnson. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Again, it's Johnson. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Cardinals on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Out of the gun, Gabbard. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Here's the veteran punter, Lee, as he sends this one away. <laughs> well, when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. to Dixon. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target. Guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. On second down, McCaffrey. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but 
It's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Now it's Newton here off the bootleg. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? It's taken to the 26. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Second down throw for Gabbard. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. And it's third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and 11. From the shotgun, it's Gabbard. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl Luke Kinkley that picks it. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. And they're definitely showing blitz here. McCaffrey following the penalty. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wondered if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. And on second and ten now. Give running left, it's McCaffrey. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. 
So the offense has it, six-yard line, first and goal. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Gano out to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And some room to run now. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40-yard line. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, partner, I have to say they called him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school at one of my offensive line teammates. used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. Johnson running left. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Now give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now a handoff. Johnson. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game of the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. The Cardinals on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and four. Back 22. Back 22. Here's Gabbert. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Captain Mutterlin. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. They stay on the ground. This time it's Stewart, and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. 
this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. The Panthers on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This will be third and six. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So just one yard to go here on third down. Back to throw, Newton. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop. A man down on the return. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's Michael Pilardi now. On presumably to punt, though he did complete a pass earlier. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? And he is out of bounds right around the 20. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Really good, skillful, tough running throughout this contest. Picked up first down after first down. He's got to have a nickname, doesn't he? How about the human first down machine? I think that fits. They try the left side with Johnson. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Second down following the run. The busy night continues for Johnson. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Johnson running right. They find some open field here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards.
Time for a break. Back with more in the NFC Championship game after this. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Back to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. The Cardinals on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third down and 12. Back to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. Well, he was looking at a dime formation, six defensive backs on the field. So he's looking for anyone, anyone to throw the football to. But he didn't have anyone open, so he took off and ran for it. But he came up just short, and that brings up fourth down. Desperation time. Gabbard on four. That's to his running back, complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Well, certainly not the way that they were hoping that possession would end, failing to convert on fourth. And now they've got to make sure that they keep their poise, they keep their confidence. Just because it didn't work once doesn't mean if they get that same situation later that they shouldn't go for it again. The defense feels great, but the offense, they can't be despondent. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Now here's a timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Defense showing blitz. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. It's a loss of two. Now third down. And the Cardinals are going to use another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Panthers on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This will be third and 5. handoff McCaffrey running right and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44 yard line it's a gain of seven and that should just about do it get his three timeouts left right think you got to use one here don't no you no doubt about it I'd use one right here The Panthers down to a knee out of the victory formation. Really a great season. Not a whole lot to hang their head about. Not at all. And, you know, the, the winning side, they're so ecstatic. They're going to the Super Bowl. But for the guys that we're talking about, 
They've got to figure out how it's going to go next year. Are they going to be motivated by this loss? Or will this loss linger and really make them, you know, make it tough for them to come out of the gate strong next year? Only time will tell, but they've got to find a way to use this loss and use it as motivation. And that does it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.